Hello everyone, I hope you all are well. My name is Sean Wasonga and I'm a product manager with the Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence team. They have the pleasure of taking you through the process of enabling the MDTI API trial and using it in a practical scenario. Now, the first thing that you need to do is of course, go to your admin.microsoft.com uh, environment, sign in with a user that has uh, the appropriate permissions. And once you're there, you need to move over towards the marketplace, which is on the left side. Just click on the market, marketplace blade, go towards all products and essentially look for Defender Threat Intelligence. Now, the assumption here is you're already enabled the Defender Threat Intelligence trial. And if indeed you've done that or actually have access to us that license, you should see something similar to what you're seeing here. To enable the API trial, all you need to do is click on towards the add-ons tab, click on towards the details portion, and all you need to do is start the free trial. It should um, give you the following information um, to try the trial. And um, essentially enable that particular trial for you to be using it in your environment. Now, what I must mention is you just need to enable one trial for your different elements across the board, right? So once uh, you run through that process, uh, you're able to see the products at which you have. And just to confirm that indeed, the trial has actually been enabled, you can actually see it as this. So if you go uh, towards the billing blade, click on your products, it should give you this defined option as you actually see here. Now, that's the first phase in terms of how you can actually enable trial. The next phase I'll take you through is how to leverage it and test it in your environment. Moving on. All right, after enabling the trial, you move over towards the next phase. And this one will be creating a service principle with the appropriate permissions towards the Defender TI API to be able to use it across the board, whether it's with your Logic Apps, your Postman collection, your own Jupyter Notebooks, it's really up to you. I'm just going to showcase to you how you can access that. Now to do that, all you need to do is go on towards the Microsoft dot Microsoft uh, portal.azure.com and basically proceed towards app registrations. Once it opens it, all you need to do is click on towards a new registration, uh, give it a defined name, click on towards register. And the next process would be to provide it the appropriate API permissions. Now, this is very significant for you actually gaining access towards the MDTI API. All you need to do, click on towards add permissions. The MDTI API is hosted on Microsoft Graph. So all you need to do is click on Microsoft Graph, select application permissions and type threat intelligence. It's actually one number. And this should give you the information. Click on that, add the permissions. The next element would be to grant admin consent for Microsoft. That should essentially give you a way in terms of how you can be able to leverage this service principle with other defined motions. You're also required to go towards a certificate and secrets, and you need to create your own client secret, which you will need to use for your process whether it's through your Logic Apps and your Postman collection. Now, I wouldn't do this because it's something very private, but you can follow the process. All you need to do is click on a new client secret, provide it a description, and it should share um, those defined details, right? Click on the description, add it, and provide it the defined value, okay? Once that is done, you'll then be required to get the client ID, the tenant ID, and the secret value that you've created to be able to use it in the next phase. And we'll be proceeding there. 
All right, so the next phase would actually be to test the API against um, specific calls. As I said, whether it's through your logic apps, uh, playbooks, your own Postman collection, it's good to determine whether or not um, the calls essentially work. Now, you can do this through a couple of ways. One, as the MDTI team, we have created a Postman collection on our GitHub, which you can actually find um, on the following link, which is being shared on the on the on the screen. And the Postman collection is quite extensive. All you need to do is go towards our GitHub and download the JSON and basically import it into Postman, and you should get a very detailed overview of the different calls uh, that you can actually leverage with um, the API um, that you have generated. All that will be required from you is create and get the service principal details and basically add the tenant ID, client ID, and client secret on the current value. Once you do that, you'll be able to proceed over towards the authorization page, get a new access token, and essentially move over towards um, the different calls that we have created and, and basically all you need to do is just click on send and it should be able to give you a, a response in terms of how it's, how it's being done. Now, let's practically do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the credentials I created um, with the service principal, add them here and let's test some calls. Moving on. All right. So as you can actually see, we're moving on. And uh, what you need to get is visibility of how to test them in our Postman collection. I've added the current variables of my tenant ID and client ID and client secret. After that, I only need to click on save. Then I move over towards authorization. And then what I'll be required to do is get a new access token. It will generate a bearer token. I'll be able to use that token. And all I need to do is go on towards the folder with the different API calls that I have and essentially just click on send. Now, onus on me is um, to basically determine uh, what I'd like to put here. In this case, I'm looking at contoso.com. I'm able to get the host data, as you can actually see here. I can do that similarly for reputational scoring for contoso.com. I'm able to get a response there. I can also do that for IP addresses. In this case, I have an IP. All I need to do is put it um, there, run my call, and it gives me a defined response. And remember, the API calls are quite a lot, right? Reputation, passive DNS, components, cookies, trackers. You can also even get visibility of the articles that have actually been generated by MDTI, as you can actually see here. Um, you can see the different articles and the different profiles um, that we essentially have. Now, owners for you is to determine your own use cases and leverage these calls to pull up information that's necessary for you. We have documentation for this, uh, which you can actually see in the chat window, in the screen. And we've also created a blog to guide you through the process but this should enable you to enable the trial and test it for your own use. Thank you for joining my session. Bye.